Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rinse at a time, back with the man, the myth, the legend, and yes, someone who's probably just saved uh, you a lot of money on taxes. Go back and watch the cost segregation video. Omar, man, how you doing? I'm good. I'm more, I'm, I'm more great after our uh, our appointment. I'm glad that uh, we're able to give back and yeah. help everyone that's in the in in the program, and um, it's going to be game changing for everyone. Yeah, cost segregation again is something that's been out there for a while. I've I've known about it. It's um it's not been available for the little guy until now, and uh, you know cost segregation again is something that will be meaningful uh, for lots of people. And again, I, I I joke at the beginning of that last episode about you calling me Sunday morning on my run. I'm like I'll talk to Omar when I'm done, and then you text me, bro. Check your voicemail check your right now. Or check, like, your, check your voicemail. Uh huh. <laughs> like, I check it. I'm like, call you back. I'm like, let's go. So, yeah, it is it's game changing, folks. You don't know what you're talking about. You missed episode number one. Go back and watch it. We talk about cost segregation, how you can really use it in these smaller markets. There are some levels, right? You want to be about 150, 200K. Probably doesn't apply to the 50K house. But yeah, we've got uh, 14 months left. Uh, of this cost segregation plus bonus depreciation, which is like the cherry on top. Everything that was five, seven, or 15 years cost, you're going to depreciate it year one. For a guy like Omar, I am not exaggerating. He will likely recognize a million dollars in year one depreciation next year, which means a million bucks of income vanishes away from the IRS. It's going to be amazing. It's so exciting because you know what? It, I'll just keep on rolling it over and using that, you know, th this is where you'll be, this is where all the rich, extremely uber rich people would save their money to go buy more and not pay taxes. This is Trump. This is um, Grant Cardone. This yeah. is just absolutely insane for anyone that's out there that's listening. I hope you freaking take your notes because yeah, th this is uh, why this is why there's so many people buying real res residential real estate. You want to know why Wall Street is so keen on single family homes? It's because of this bonus depreciation. I guarantee you, they are mm -hmm. wiping out huge piles of income legally because of the Jobs Act. Zillow. Now, now that I know about this and you, I mean, we knew about it, but not really like, hey, now we can actually do it. That's cool. But you don't think Zillow depreciated 100% of every single property that they just lost? Yeah. They, they have carryovers, I'm sure. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be interesting how they recognize all of that because the sale of the transaction kind of reverts that back. But I guarantee you, every, what I will tell you this is Zillow should never sell these homes. The fact Never. that they're exiting is a mistake. They have 18,000 homes that they could have done cost segregation on and saved conservatively 25% year one. Mm -hmm. And then again, you go get a 50, 50% operator. The fact that Zillow CEO is doing this is a fireable offense, but I don't want to make this about Zillow. I want to make this about our investors, one rental at a time followers. And again, I like talking to experts like yourself that are making decisions. You did this. It happened Sunday. That's two days ago, three yep. days ago. You have already made a business decision to do what? I don't want to steal uh, the thunder. Well, to to set to, to save a shitload of money. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the language, because everyone's going to say that word. I'm oh, telling yeah. you. Yeah. Um, to segregate all of my properties that I purchased in 2020, 2019, mm -hmm. um, and be able to depreciate 100% of anything that has a life of five, seven, or 15 years yeah, in actually, the property. Where I was going with that is you had a whole bunch of properties for sale. You've done something right now with two of them. Oh, yeah. That, that I think um, is cool. So uh, I bought a property, and this is the cool one. And I talked about it before. I bought it subject to existing mortgage. <coughs> it was on the higher end. <coughs> Excuse me. Huh, no problem. It was on the higher end of um, you know price point. Yeah, it's worth about six fifty to six eighty, especially right now in this market. I paid three sixty for it, so there's a huge spread there. Okay, I could receive the capital, I can receive the profits, and pay capital gains. But last night, and mind you, I already had it staged. It's all staged to sell. Yeah. Okay. And I walked it yesterday, and I'm like, "There's no way." So I created a video, and 
I had my guy do a video, but I'm going to keep that house as a rental. Yeah. And this is the thing. I will keep it. And then I, I will refinance it later if need be. If not, exactly. then I won't. But the amount of money that I'll be able to save on that one particular property is probably – just that one house is probably going to be $150,000. Well, let's do just. the math. Yeah, let's do the math. So what did you pay for it? I paid three – no, I'm sorry. Three, uh, call it on, on my closing statement, I paid 407 Okay, so 407 and then did you do any repairs, maintenance, capital improvements? Yes, $90,000 worth of repairs. Okay, so let's just, so, okay. So, so 407, 90K. So the 90K yeah. given, uh, again, I don't know what it is, but again, bonus depreciation, all of that, that'll be recognized year one. Correct. 407, uh, let's just take 25%. Again, in our video with David, he said rule of thumb between 20 and 40. So we're being very conservative at 25%. So that's basically 100K. Okay. So you're going to be able to write off, depreciate $190,000, which, oh, by the way, that one unit will not make you 190 grand in cash flow. It'll probably make you five, no, five grand, which means the other 185 goes to other income. Correct. How do you like me now? That means I, I literally just made $190,000 right in my pocket. Plus I have the property appreciating. Okay. <laughs> And then I have a small amount of cash flow that I'm going to be receiving because yeah. my payment's seventeen hundred. I'll rent it for three grand, uh, thirteen hundred dollars in positive cash flow. I make thirteen. That's what is that? Fifteen thousand uh, dollars a year in positive cash flow plus appreciation. Yeah. And I took a hundred. I mean, it doesn't. It. I will make a half a million dollars or more keeping this house. So yeah. I will double my money with pretty much nothing invested. I will not keep. I will not sell a house next year. No, I I, I'm, I'm done. I'm keeping every single property. Every, and I will overpay a little bit for properties right I'm going to keep. Yeah. So I'm, I'm telling, I'm going to, I'm going to ask everyone. I, I'm buying every effing house that I could find. Yeah. It's going to be pretty amazing. Again, this, this, these are things that have only been available to the rich. David talked about the story. It started with ho some hospital and then Walgreens bonus depreciate or I'm sorry. Cost segregation is a legit. Basically, you're taking a house, which again, in a residential speak, 27 and a half years, you just, you know, minus land and all that stuff. But now what they're saying is inside that house, there are parts that age out faster, five, seven, and 15 years. Because of the Jobs Act, in 50, you can take everything that instead of depreciating at five, seven, or 10, shove it all into year one. Correct. It's uh, it's an amazing gift. And this is why syndicators are overpaying. This is why Grant Cardone is buying everything he can because he is going to hide. If Grant Cardone makes a million five on his uh, courses and education, he buys $100 million thing. He gets to keep all the one five. It's 100% legal. Oh, it's, it, it's, this is a game changer. This is an absolute game changer. Yeah, I just I'm, hope everyone that's listening uh, truly takes this and runs with it. Yeah, let's you have to execute this. I'm sorry, Michael. No, you got to execute everything that you do here and see, especially if it's something that I myself am going to do. Michael will end up doing not because we're dumb, not because we uh, know something different. No, because we want to execute on that to create more income for us mm -hmm. so we can go buy more properties. And we're giving it all back to you. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's just, you it's just got to do it. Yeah. So again, folks, I'm all about doing what I do. So I'm already sending David the information about the duplex I closed two or three months ago. I'm doing it. Uh, I think I paid 188 for it, I think. Um, yeah. I, I, and again, I won't sell anything next year. Everything I buy next year, everything I buy going forward, I'm keeping. I'm going to send through this. If I happen to get lucky and buy something under 100K, I won't bother. But yeah, stuff above that. Let's go. Now, now okay. Question for you. Let's talk about this for a second. Uh, sure. One of my properties, right? I'm going to, I'm going to rent out now. Okay. Yes. The, 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 there is some issue there with renting a property out at that price point, et cetera, et cetera. I have another one that I just thought about right now that they're rehabbing. Mm -hmm. It's a $850,000 house. And I don't know what kind of rent it's an estate. I mean, I could keep that one too. Shit. I mean, you got to run the, the money every single time. You got you to gotta run the numbers, right? So one thing I truly believe in is you never keep an alligator, as you know, from my first book. 
right? So I don't know what your yeah, mortgage 100%. payment. I don't know what your mortgage. Like, let's say for example, your mortgage is forty two hundred, but for whatever reason, you can only get four grand. Then that's an automatic sell. You never let an accounting thing or whatever. You never let short term gain kind of the because your idea is to hold forever, because you'll have to pay that back eventually. So yeah, if you if it's an alligator, everything's a sell. But everything's you know, a sell. Everything. I it's mean, hard and, and fast rule. And, and it's a couple hundred k in profit. Yeah. Um. So I'm just like, damn, but that's. You know, that's 100K, guys, in real yeah. numbers, okay? 200K, you don't keep that. You pay that in capital gains. So yeah. I don't know. I got to do the numbers on that one. Yeah, you got to, you know, not not many people rent to states because most people that rent to states, they can buy. <laughs> that's why it doesn't, when you look at the boardwalk, right? Not a lot, there are some people, but not a lot of people will rent. Um, right. So yeah, again, I think this cost segregation is going to fundamentally change my business. I won't be, I won't be, pride of ownership flips next year. Not happening. Mm -hmm. I'm keeping them all, um, all of them. And um, yeah, I think it's already changed your business. You're keeping more than you thought you would. So pretty cool. Yeah, it, it's awesome. Yeah. So thank you for bringing that. Thank you for that. Yeah, you're going to, yeah, it's, that's, I'm, I'm giddy with excitement. I am too, man. That's why I called you. <laughs> well, Omar, how can people follow you? Get part of your role. Guys, follow me um, on IG at Omar underscore, underscore Alfaro and literally message me or call me because I am going to help you with all of this stuff. This is going to be cool. Very cool. Thanks, Omar. Thanks for bringing it to us. You're welcome.